What would I recommend visiting the Philippines as a single guy or a single woman? Um, I've probably done a few videos on this already, but I want to re-emphasize this because it's, it's quite a interesting topic because the fact is a lot of people understand once they've gone out they haven't done it. Um, some people will put abusive messages because they had a bad time or whatever, but I'd say a lot of the people that do that are self-inflicted. Um, you can't help everyone, I'll just say that. I'm not going to dwell on it. But the, the point being is, what you get out of the trip out of the Philippines is maybe your first trip in Asia and being in a country where predominantly everybody speaks English is a big help. Uh, the next one is, it's a completely different environment, somewhat different to what you're used to, and it's relatively safe. Um, I've been out like three, four in the morning and never had any issues as long as you're not flashing the gold wearing a rolex throwing the money around getting drunk and doing something stupid um relatively safe um never had any issues the, the issues normally come from stuff that people have done and that's just the way there's a way the world every i mean the the way a local newspaper in the uk puts it when some thieving whatever they'll go lovable rogue because they something's happened to them and they turn around and that's the way play way of saying what they were um but anyway the other thing is can be quite diverse because the city living can be very different different to rural living um and obviously you've got different islands there's different dialects there's different places to explore and see which makes it interesting you've got the holidays sort of stuff like Boracay but also if you can get into things like the film studios and things there's, there's some interesting stuff that goes on there um, it's a whole new experience because I know myself I like to travel from place to place and even finding a base setting up there and then traveling to another island for a week or a couple of days it's worth doing because it's, it can be very, very different compared to where you are. I mean, I know when we're in Mingalilia, we'll often travel down to the south of the island um, because the resorts now are better, the water is blue <laughs> instead of sort of coffee. Um, but there's lots of different reasons to travel around and there's new experiences, new stuff. And obviously, if you're going to stay there for a while, it can work out quite cheap, you know, as a single person or as a couple. Where it gets expensive is when you've got kids, medical fees, and that sort of stuff. So, traveling, it's worth doing. It's a new experience, um, and it's a very welcoming country. The people are generally friendly, um, and a lot of them are genuinely friendly as well, which is another important aspect, is that they actually like you. They want to be your friend. They want you to um, meet their families and stuff. And I know some people find that a bit strange. They assume there must be something. For most people, it's not. It's more a case of they want to be your friend. It's just the way people are. Um, the problems people face are often faced relating to what they've done, money, or getting involved with family issues. If you can avoid those, most of the problems won't appear. Um, and then business. Business is a big one. Business can be a problem. But on your first trip, whatever, that shouldn't be in your mind. It should be a case of just exploring, enjoying, experiencing. And also, if you're looking to meet a new partner, whether you're male or female, you will find that in the Philippines, a lot of people are more approachable. It doesn't matter what job they're doing or where they are, whatever. you find people are genuinely approachable pretty much everywhere. So those are some good reasons to visit the Philippines. And I think it opens people's minds to different ways of life. Because if you haven't been abroad before, you'll get a grasp of what poor actually means. Um, you'll also get a grasp of how different infrastructures work. You know, when 
the internet is well I'm in Spain it's just as bad um, but the the road networks and the public transport systems they can have really bad road networks but the the transport system can be extremely good in the sense of serviceability because in the Philippines there is constant flows of jeepneys and stuff that keep people rolling um, so you know you're never waiting long for public transport that's one of the key things on the Philippines the public transport is extremely good um, I wouldn't say that from an environmental point of view but from getting from A to B it's certainly very good getting between islands and different things you can do it different ways you can take what they call row rail which is a roll on roll off ferry or you can go on a banker which is like a wooden boat and lots of different things you'll get you'll get different experiences out of it you'll also see how people's logic can be very different how people see you differently or and there is a thing called the like becoming 10 foot tall when the people arrive in the Philippines which is where people aren't used to being called sir people want to spend time with them and all this sort of stuff that often happens in the Philippines but at the same time if you actually appreciate it and take an interest in it it can be beneficial to you as well because you meet so many different people from different ways of life and you can often go and see things that you may not have the opportunity to do in the West um, there's certainly a lot to see and do, and you will get a lot out of the trip. I would say go over videos relating to safety and stuff like that, but things like keeping your cash safe, don't bother with a expensive mobile phone, etc., because the odds on it getting pickpocketed are quite high, because most of the crime I've come across has been petty. Um, but generally, you should have a fantastic trip and get a lot out of it. And I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend finding all the locations you want to visit before you go and then just putting them in a timeline, which is basically A to B to C to D. Don't put dates because uh, it doesn't always work like that. The weather changes and something it could be a four hour trip becomes three days. So <laughs> it's better just to say, I want to go here, 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 and here. And then just try and get to them all. Um, you'll get so much out of it. Thanks for watching.